all, how are you all doing? This blog will be little different as I am going to share with you all about my travel to Andaman with a small kid and my parents. Apart from daily chores, I had a week break from homemaking during this vacation. Our tour started with a beautiful experience. This is Bengaluru's Kempegora International Airport's Terminal 2. The terminal is a visual treat for passengers. Featuring thoughtfully curated art, vertical garden and decor elements, ensuring an unforgettable journey through the terminal. My parents wanted that after retirement, they would freely enjoy and explore new destinations. But unfortunately, a major stroke happened to my father and after recovery, they had to partially depend on us. So me and my sister made sure to accomplish all their dreams whenever we get time. My father is under one of those world's best doctor supervision and the doctor advised us to give our father relaxing vacations whenever he feels like to go on a trip. Every year, me and my sister try to go with them on a vacation from their bucket list. And of course, only to that extent up to which he can take. So this year, we have planned for Andaman as it is one of their dream destinations. This holiday fun was little different like childhood, only parents and their daughters and of course a little one, no husbands this time. It was the morning flight from Bangalore to Chennai in Air India and within an hour from Chennai to Port Blair with the same flight. The transfer was very smooth with Air India's wheelchair facility. We booked wheelchair for both of my parents. The crew members were so helpful in every step and travel was hustle free, I must say. reached Port Blair by 11 am. Port Blair Airport is defense airport, so photography is restricted there. I can't show you the airport clips here in this video. My sister booked the complete package with Experience Andaman, a tourist company, including all pickups and drops especially for our parents. So they picked us up from airport and dropped us in the hotel. In Port Blair, we stayed in Andaman Gele. It is a boutique hotel along with restaurant of their own and staffs were so friendly and helpful in all respects. raining in the port player and it enhances the tropical beauty of the place. We freshen up immediately, had our lunch, our parents took some rest and meanwhile 
quickly we unpacked our necessary items from suitcase and kept it in the wardrobe. At around 3 o'clock, we started for Cellular Jail Tour. Cellular Jail is situated in the heart of the city and is just 3 km away from our hotel, 2 km away from the main Aberdeen Bazaar and 6 km from the airport. It is the first point of visit for most tourists and even we chose the same. The heroes of our freedom struggle came from every nook and corner of the country. My Jethu requested me to bring all freedom fighters list with photos including Bengal and other states of undivided India which are exhibited in the museums of cellular jail. And here I am in search of it. Cellular J, which is considered as the darkest chapter in the history of India. The motive of the construction of this J is to give cruelest punishment to the freedom fighters who were fighting for India's independence. Britishers made these small rooms for prisoners around 5 by 8 feet and the only one skylight which is around 3 meters up and that's the reason one cannot talk with another. This is also called the punishment of Kalapan. The cellular jail is a huge three-storied structure building which has seven wings. There are 700 cells and the architect made it in a way that a prisoner even can't talk with each other. Muktiro mundiro shopano tole kato pran holo bolidan Likha che osru jale सुप्रभाते जत तरुण अरुण गे अस्ता चले मुक्तर मंदिर सोपान तले कतु प्राण होलो बोलिदान लिखा छे ओस्रो जले जारा शौर गोगो तो तारा एखोनो जानेन शौर गेर चे प्रियो जान मुभुमी 
এসো স্বদেশ ব্রতের মহাদেব খালোভি সেই মৃত্যুঞ্জয়ীদের চরণ জমি মুক্তির মন্দির সোপান তলে কত প্রাণ হল বলিদান লেখা আছে অশ্রু জলে The jail hosts many museums and gallows where prisoners were hanged to death. There was a time where 87 revolutionary people were hanged to death together. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bosch hosted the Indian flag for the first time in Port Blair when he along with the Japanese army attacked and occupied the islands during the Second World War. All the political prisoners were released from the jail and the Britishers were captured and put in the cellular jail. However, due to the defeat of the Japanese forces in the Second World War, the Andaman Islands were recaptured by the British in the year 1945. The Amarjoti is dedicated to those beings who sacrificed their life for our nation's independence. In the evening, a light and sound show is held in the premises depicting the history of Andaman Islands and Cellular J. We have witnessed it in the second shift at around 7 pm. And I must say, everyone should experience the show with their family. At around 5.30 p.m., the car arrived with a special permission for my father to the gate of the jail and dropped us on Marina Park. My parents and we walked with each other on this park, enjoying the sea view and had some tea and snacks. update you about the next few days of our vacation in next vlog. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon if you have not done this before to get the next upload of my vlog immediately. Thanks for watching it and stay connected.